Hey everybody, welcome back for another sublimation tutorial. Today we're gonna look at how we make those Christmas gag toilet paper rolls. <laughs> they seem pretty popular right now. A lot of people are asking how to do them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, three ways to do it. Um, I have a preference, but I'll let you guys decide what you like the best at the very end. So before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are enjoying these tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification. So before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are enjoying these tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications to get notified when I regularly upload tutorials so you don't miss a single one. So the materials we're gonna need for this project is obviously toilet paper. I have, this one is a Cottonelle, the purple labeled one, um, but whatever you prefer to use works just fine. We'll also need a laminate sheet and then also a, a Oracle 651 um, a vinyl. These are just two different ways that you can do it. Again, I do have a preference on how I do mine, but again, I'll let you guys decide in the end what you prefer to use and then also show you just a third way to do it as well. Then you're gonna just want to have printed out sublimation images um, these are all the same. I just want to show with the exact same image on all three different techniques to show you what different effect it's going to have um, with the same image so I'm, you know I'm not changing anything regarding these. Um, you'll need sublimation paper and sublimation ink. I do use the sawgrass paper. Um, it works really well in my Epson printer. And then I also use the hippo ink which I just really enjoy it. You will then want to go ahead and put your heat mat down um, or if you have a clamshell press, you already have your heat, uh, your mat. You'll then go ahead and put your parchment paper or butcher's paper down, whichever you prefer to use. I have been putting a good cardboard down. It just kind of puts a little bit more protection, but we'll put that there. I'm going to show you the first technique, which is doing nothing on it. It's literally just the toilet paper. When you're doing these, um, when you're actually doing them, you don't want to tear off the paper. You just want to kind of unroll it and have it kind of sitting like that where you have a square to do. I usually do either the first or second square, it just depends on the image that I'm using. Um, but I'm just going to do the first square to show you guys today. All right, so we'll go ahead and put our first image down. It is mirrored, so when you turn it over, it'll be the right way after you sublimate it. And you just want to center it as much as possible. And then go ahead and put some heat resistant tape down um, real gently. You don't want to be able to not get it off or tear your tissue paper. Um, we'll just use one piece and then we'll cover it up again with another piece of parchment paper or butcher's paper, whatever you prefer. We'll go ahead and heat for 400 degrees at 60 seconds. All right, so that's done heating. We'll remove our press and then just let it cool down a little bit so you're not burning yourself. And I'll show you the reason why I put a board underneath when I'm doing tissue is because it does bleed through. So um, that you're just doing extra protection for your mat, your heat pad. So just really gently peel everything back. Um, it is still a little bit warm, so just be careful. But you can go ahead and lift it up. And that's gonna be kind of the general image. Um, if you don't, if you use nothing on it, you're just gonna sub directly on. That's kind of the results I've been getting. Um, you could probably do it a little bit longer, but not too much longer. But that's kind of how it is, um, just for sublimating directly on. And you just roll it back over, and you'll put it in your little silicone bag, um, Teflon bag, whatever your bag you're gonna put it in. So we'll go ahead and move on to the second step. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear this off, which you can do if you make a mistake. Just tear it off and then start over. All right, so the second step we're gonna do is the little laminate pouch. Um, these are just the Walmart laminate pouches. You do wanna make sure it's a thermal laminate pouch, otherwise you're just gonna melt it and it's just gonna make a mess. So I'll we'll go ahead and uh, do that technique and I'll show you here. Again, same thing, and I did put a fresh new paper down so that uh, the ink that was on here is not going to transfer back onto the, the tissue. So I'll lay it back down. Um, I did measure this out 
so that it's going to fit kind of perfectly just in that square. Um, mine measured at 3.5 by 3.5, but as everything else, even tissue comes in different sizes, so just make sure that you're measuring. I'm going to go ahead and just lay this down and just center it as much as possible, just like so. And when you're doing this, do note you do want the sh shiny side up and the dull side will be down. And then you're gonna take your image, again, facing down, and then just center it as much as possible, just like so. And then also tape it down just so it's not moving on you. And then same thing, 400 degrees for 60 seconds um, with your time and pressing. All right, so remove the press, remove your parchment paper, and then this one you're just gonna wanna let it cool down just a little bit, um, otherwise you're, you might smear the ink and we don't wanna do that. All right, so it's cooled off enough to be able to handle it. You still do wanna be careful, but you can now go ahead and remove your image and that's the result you're gonna get with um, doing the lamination sheet over the toilet paper. It's a lot more vibrant with the colors um, and then you just roll it back over while it's still warm. That way it kind of forms into the, um, the rounded molded uh, way of doing it. And that's comparing to the one that we just did. Um, this was the one where we did put nothing on it. And this is the one where we put the laminate sheet on it. So again, kind of comparisons on how you want to do things. Um, you can also put just a clear little piece of tape right here to hold it down. And that's the result you're gonna get with that method there. So we'll go ahead and move on to the third uh, method. All right, so the third method I have found that works um, is using the Oracle 651. Um, the thicker it is, the better it is, I've noticed. Uh, but this is just an old one that I had laying around and it actually works really well. But you can get them from any craft store uh, that you get your crafts from. So we'll go ahead and get our tissue rolled back out. And the same exact thing, you're just going to peel it off and then place it right in the middle as much as possible. And I have a dull one. Um, it comes in dull and shiny. I actually prefer the, the duller one just because it looks better on the tissue paper and it kind of matches better in the color. And it's not super shiny. So just go ahead and lay that down just like that. And if you have any overlapping, you can just trim it off. like that. All right, we'll go ahead and do our third image here, placing facing down, just like that. And again, heat resistant tape on the back to keep it in place and your parchment paper over the top. And again, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. All right, so we're done with the third result there. We can go ahead and turn our press off. And this method, you do want to let it cool all the way down before removing the image. All right, so it's cooled off now enough to go ahead and um, handle it. So in the corner, you'll kind of see it starts to peel up a little bit. You want to go ahead and be really, really gentle at this part as you just slowly lift it up. And you'll start to see the image comes out pretty well. But you do want to be careful not to tear your vinyl or the tissue paper with that one. So that is the third method there. We'll just roll it back over. And you can see that is the result from um, the Oracle 651 vinyl doing it that way. And actually it kind of actually still has that texture of the toilet paper, which is interesting. All right, so here we are going to look at all three of them. This is the one where we did absolutely nothing to it. Um, we just went directly onto the tissue paper. This was the laminating pouch. And then this was the Oracle 651, um, just the vinyl there. I'll go ahead and tear that off and lay it with the other ones. So these are the three results you're gonna get um, from doing nothing, thermal laminating pouch and the Oracle 651 vinyl. 
I prefer to use the thermal laminating pouches. It comes out with really vibrant colors um, and it's also see-through so you're still having that um, tissue color effect and it lays over really well still as well. So go ahead in the comments, let me know which one is your favorite method to go with. Um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, boop that like button and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.